I do apologize for that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So as I was saying, we have done a number of things. And most of us did not know too many details about how the peace program was orchestrated, how it was functioning, how it was managed. However, it was a good political tool. And in all of this heightened tension within St. Kitts and Nevis, every single individual and every single entity have their own agenda and have their own thought processes. And emotions are running high. And some people will vent based on what their experiences and what their perspectives are. And as I sit and I look and I saw the comments and the voice notes going around, I had to take a step back and just observe. So I had to take a step back and observe. And this is what I have observed. We heard yesterday from the Honorable Premier, Mark Brantley. We heard from the Prime Minister. We heard from the People's Action Movement, the leader, Sean Richards. And we heard from Dr. Harris of the PLP. Now, all these entities are political entities. And based on their position on the political playing field, their views will vary. And if you examine each and every one of their speeches, you can find some political overtones in it. And depending on where you are with your political mindset and your political gender, you will gravitate to either one. And all that is well and good and all that is fine. But at the end of the day, what we want in St. Kitts and Nevis is a better understanding, is a way in which we can deal with this. Now, the, pol the politics will always come into play. The PLP who is in opposition, the PAM who is in opposition right now, will use this as a stepping stone to their political prosperity. That is what they did leading up to the twenty. 15 elections, and that is what they will continue to do now. But if you look at the facts, if you look at the overall picture, you can deduce from that what you will. We have used crime far too long as a political football, and it's being played out yet again. And in all of this, while the political parties and the politicians are trying to score political points on each other for their political prosperity. Our people are traumatized mentally. There is a tension in the air. There's a feeling of desperation. There's a feeling of being unsafe in our community. Who provides that safety and security? Ultimately, it is the government and by extension the security forces that should offer us that sense of safety and protection. They have their part to play. Do they play it to the best of their abilities? I say no. More can be done. More proactive measures can be undertaken. And when we are going to criticize, I feel we should also bring forward some points or some suggestions as to what we would like to see different. For me personally, whenever there is an upsurge in crime, the police reacts to it. You see their presence, but you see their presence in the wrong aspect. Whenever there are shootings and robberies and whatnot, the traffic police come out heavy force. 
and they, they cordon off certain areas and they begin to stop and search. They begin to check for tint. I don't know what we gain from that, but I personally don't see it. Because yesterday, while a murder was taking place, we were getting word that there was a stop and search up in Monkey Hill. Now, I don't know the purpose of these stop and search. I don't know what they yield because we hardly get any statistics to show. And if we do, it's very far and few in between. But what I would like to see is a strategic move to go into the areas that are currently experiencing the upsurge. And we know what those areas are. The murders have taken place in two specific areas currently. The McKnight area and the St. Peter's area. So what I would like to see personally is a heavy police and army present in these areas. And not just during the day, throughout the night. Somebody must take the lead and organize police presence in these two specific areas. Now, I don't know what is happening behind the scene because here in St. Kitts and Nevis, they don't tell you anything. The streets will talk, but they don't tell you anything for whatever their reasons are. But this is what I would like to see. If you are not a criminal, this shouldn't affect you. I could recall a time in St. Kitts and Nevis when there was heavy police presence on the scene heavy army presence on the scene. And callers used to call to this very radio station and complain about security forces up and down in town with big guns. And it was a problem. Why do they have to walk up and down with these big guns? Mind you, these are security officers trying to keep the peace. And because of politics, people criticize that. And for whatever reason, the security forces pull back. Then you had the upsurge and everybody looked to the security forces and the government to fix it. Yesterday, in all the speeches that I've heard, very, very little mention was made to the people who are carrying out these acts. If you listen to Dr. Harris's speech, he was very critical of the government. And that is what he's supposed to do as a politician. His job is to tear down the government to make a way for him to get back. So that's a given. No problem with that. And he dedicated a little part of his speech to asking the people who are carrying out this crime to seek peace and try to work it out. The same for the Prime Minister's speech. Some people are saying that he should have highlighted more of who OJ was to the society. And that's that person's perspective. Some people was looking for more in this speech to bring some set some sort of comfort to the nation. Of course, you heard from the, the, the People's Action Movement leader, and we all know what that speech is going to be like. It's going to be, have a lot of political overtones. But if you break it down further, where is the direct attack on the people who are carrying out these murders? Are they regular citizens? Are they gangsters? When are we going to begin to call these people out for what they're doing to our country? We are busy attacking each other in a perpetual cycle of politicking and scoring political points. And they are busy doing what they have to do. We are here mourning as a nation the loss of our, of our icon. And that meant nothing to a murderer murdering another youth in Dorset. It meant nothing. It shows you the nature of the people who we are dealing with. 
we are trying to humanize them and appeal to their conscience and appeal to their better judgment to seek peace. But clearly, they're not listening to anything that Dr. Harris had to say. They're not listening to anything that Sean Richards has to say. They're not listening to anything that Dr. Drew had to say. They're not listening to anything Mark Brantley had to say. So why are we trying to appeal to their human size when they have clearly shown us that they don't have any? The Prime Minister in his speech yesterday clearly said that the peace program that people from the opposition are saying was shut down and disbanded and that is the reason for the crime. He stated categorically yesterday that it was not closed. I spoke to members of the peace program as well, and they said, no, we still receive in. As a matter of fact, it's kind of better now because what we had before was that somebody was given a lump sum of money, and they were charged with distributing the money, and the money never reached to us. What is happening now is that the money is coming directly to us. That's the word I'm getting. So here again, clearly, people are using... This situation of murder and mayhem to score their political points, and that is getting us nowhere. I don't want to discuss the politics. I could discuss the politics, but I don't want to. The fact of the matter is that we have to begin to deal with these people in a manner that is befitting of their behavior. The suggestion of adding on more years to Illegal firearm possession and illegal ammunition possession is a step in the right direction. But how do we begin to catch these people? When I made the suggestion that we should have gotten more out of the peace program than we got, I was chastised from a political standpoint. But we should have gotten from the peace program a couple of things. Number one, we should have gotten every last name, first name, and alias of all the people who were affiliated with gangs. Their whereabouts, their gang name, their rank, their title, everything. We should have gotten that as a country. Maybe not publicly, but from a national security standpoint, all that information should have been in a database. Analyzed by the authorities. We should have also gotten answers to the unsolved murders that we have had in the past. Because if you want peace, what comes with peace is retribution and resolutions and reparations as well. We should have known why we had so many murders. We should have known who. We should have been given the weapons that committed those murders and kept in a database. We should have known who was warring with who and for what reason. So that then we can begin to form an intervention and rehabilitation. Touch base with the families who would have lost to get them closure. To have an intervention. This is what we should have gotten from the peace program. So that when there is any flare up, we could either rule out or rule in and begin to make some arrests pending whatever investigation would have gone, gone on. So when we hear that Peter Paul dropped them over there, we know who Peter Paul had problems with, either prior or recent. So that we, the general public, don't have to be out here wondering well, why was this murder carried out? Who did it? Something would have been done already. 
And if we're not doing that, then why are we spending these millions? And to say that, some people may get upset. But what it is do you really want? Because when I look around at the comments yesterday, and I see people who I know to be mixed up in gang and criminal activities, who also spend time behind bars for illegal activities, screaming at the top of their lungs, why it is the government to do both this? We want back this. I mean, it, 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 it just appalled me. We glorify a certain type of lifestyle. And then when the lifestyle is affecting our lifestyle now, we want to blame everybody else and hold everybody else accountable for fixing it, except the people who are perpetrating the crimes. And so, where are we going to go with this crime situation? How do we stop the illegal firearms from coming in? We should have gotten intel on who the movers and the shakers are in this illegal firearm ring. That is what we should have gotten from the peace program, to dismantle it completely. If the peace program was properly done we would have been able to eliminate a lot of the illegal firearms in St. Kitts and Nevis if it was properly done you can have whatever political perspective you want but at the end of the day the proof should have been in the eating of the pudding who are the key players in this illegal firearm ring because we don't manufacture guns here. They have to come in. And if they ain't coming to the police, well, how else they come in to ya? Who responsible? Who container they coming in? Which port? This is what we should have been able to gather intel with regard to this. And if nobody was to be punished because of whatever reason, and they were given amnesty or whatever reason, we should have had surveillance on them to make sure that they didn't strike back up again. Forget the politics just for a minute and go to the heart of the problem. People are benefiting from criminal activities. Who are the ones benefiting from it? And how do we stop it? How do we get tough with it? Regardless of who it is. Ike might be a popular man, but if Ike is found to be mixed up in criminal activities that could lead to the death of our nation's youth, regardless of who Ike be, let the Lord deal with Ike. It doesn't matter how high up in society, who you're connected with, who your family be. If you engage in criminal activities that's going to lead to the death and destruction of our citizens, you should be the full brunt of the law, regardless to who you be. And I know that we are a small nation and sometimes you would let certain things slide. That is all well and good, but we are talking about murder. There's some of us out here in society who benefit from the criminal activities, whether it's through money, gifts, protection, whatever it is. And we don't want to talk up. But let the person who was the criminal in the family happens now to meet their demise because of their criminal involvement and because of their criminal enterprise. You now as a family begin to scream and put strain on the government, the security forces, and the rest of society to do something about that person's murder. 
But what were you doing? You never stopped to ask a question, okay, where are all this money coming from? Why are you associating with these people? When we know who everybody around here be. We all have to take responsibility for this. But we don't. And then we have what we had yesterday. And I can guarantee you that when the security forces begin to show their presence in the community and begin to flex their muscles, the very same community that was crying out for the government and the security forces to do something are going to be the very same people who are then going to turn around and say, Oh, no do them, sir. Then I do nobody nothing. Oh, police, how you ask people, children? I can tell you because it happened already. So what it is do we really want as a country? Are we all going to lend our assistance in whatever way we can to curb these upsurge in murders? Where are we with the investigation as to why these people are killing each other? Because you hear it on the streets. It has to do with something that happened overseas. And then you come here. I mean, the word on the street is the word on the street. But what are we doing as a people to hold these people accountable for their actions? When are we as a community and a society going to stand up and say we do not want certain behaviors? around us yes is our brother yes is our sister yes is our uncle yes is a father but when are we going to stand up and say in a very loud voice and a stern voice i do not accept this kind of behavior around me and if you're going to persist in it then you cannot be a part of our society you cannot be a part of our family we're not going to tolerate it In sync, it's a nevis. We hear people say, oh, if you are labor, me not talk to you. Oh, if you are pam, me not talk to you. If you are PLP, me not want to do with you. But why we can't carry the same energy when it comes to people and their criminal behavior? The robbing, the looting, the murdering, the raping. Why we can't have that same energy towards them kind of behaviors there? Why can't we do that? And stop pretending like we don't know. A family member dropped down and we start to bar long water. And we know that they were mixed up in things that they weren't supposed to be mixed up in. We knew. And we said nothing and we did nothing because we were benefiting from it in whatever way. What, were, what are we doing as a people to stamp out this kind of behavior here? Down to the very women. We come here every day and we try to support women and elevate women. And then when you hear on the streets that you have women having babies by some of these gangsters, you, you can't believe So what are we really doing? There's so much different avenues that people can go down to have a good life. And some people choose criminal activities. And the women are choosing these people. The politicians are choosing these people. Yes, everybody deserves love and everybody deserves to be accepted but certain things we must not tolerate and this has got to be one of them so until we get to that point all the hollering that we do on social media 
all the pointing fingers and we blaming and we, we calling on this and we calling on that. It, 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 it all goes for naught. We're screaming, stop the crime, stop the murderers, but we have murderers living in we house. We're getting babies with murderers. We're taking money from murderers. And you would defend them to the hilt because it's your brother or your uncle or your father or your nephew. So what it is do we really want in this country? We're going to have to make a decision. We have to make a decision quick. It's now 12 after 2. I think we can pause for a short break and then come back to take some telephone calls here on Issues. Stay with us. If you live here in St. Kitts and your tank on here, there's only one place that you should be. Maybe driving in Navy and you need some fuel. Go straight to Delta. Don't be a fool. Get your cooking gas. Everyone in the region is shouting, Go Delta! Premium gasoline in a fully stocked sea store. So there's only one place you should be Delta Petroleum, Go baby! Delta. When purchasing a vehicle, it's essential to find an auto loan that meets your needs. The St. Kitts Credit Union offers competitive auto loan rates with flexible terms and an easy online application. It's time to drive your dream. Come, let us face the financial future together. Call us today at 465-2272, extension 114. The St. Kitts Credit Union, the best place to borrow, the best place to save. Shipping your cargo shouldn't be a hassle. It can be as easy as a single call to Amerijet International, your worldwide cargo transportation solution. We provide all the services you need to ship your goods anywhere in the world. Whether your shipment is fresh, frozen, large or small, alive or hazardous, you can count on Amerijet to deliver it safe and sound. Amerijet International, by land, sea or air, we get it there. For more information, visit us online at www.americjet.com or call us at KDP Enterprises at 466-9595. RIA Easy Money Transfer Limited, located on West Independence Square Street, Bastyr St. Kitts, and the Solomon Arcade Nevis, offers you safe and reliable transfers at great low rates and fees to 507,000 locations worldwide, with a pickup time of just 15 minutes after your transfer. And for even more ease of doing business, we home deliver and direct bank deposits in selected countries. So if anytime you want to send money to family, friends, and loved ones, at RIA, we've got you covered. With over 30 years of experience moving money quickly, efficiently, and securely across 160 countries. Give us a call at 465-3325 in St. Kitts or 469-3325 in Nevis. Opening hours Monday to Friday, 8 a.m to 4 p.m. 8.30 in Nevis and on Saturdays 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Ria Easy Money Transfer Limited. All right, we are back here on Issues and the telephone lines are open 662-1065, 465-6474, 465-0514. Uh, someone sent me a message and... Um, said to mention that we now have some new initiatives that got you know lost in 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 what we were what transpired in think it's uh yesterday and the day before is the added flight of jet blue to saint kitts and nevis direct flights from new york jfk and also the other one the no visa restriction to canada or the visa restrictions rather to Canada uh, being reduced to now 
being authorized. You, you, you get a uh, authorization to enter into Canada. So those two things happened yesterday, but um, they got lost in you know us grieving the, the, the loss of an icon in St. Kitts and Nevis. Let's take our first call. Call Iran, go ahead. Hey. Bless you the, you're on. I want to ask those guys outside a question. You could move away from your radio. You're getting an echo in, in your... Okay. How do you sleep when you, have, when you know that you have a mother and next to you? You're not afraid that he murder you too? Mm. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much for your call. It's 16 after 2. It's an open line type and we're taking your telephone calls here on issues. Uh, let's get some comments from the Facebook while we wait on our telephone calls. EK, top government officials were taking more of the $30 million for themselves than what they were distributing to the men and women on the, the peace program. Everyone in the peace program must be in a training program of their choice for a period of time and not just to cut grass. And this has always been my my thrust. And when we asked the questions, we got pushed back. Oh, leave it alone because you walk in. Call Iran, go ahead. Hello, Iran. You sound better than a politician and then I better say, how are you? <laughs> then go, hey, me darling, I could promise you that. <laughs> All right. Call it around. Go ahead. Yeah, man. AK, you say it's a political tool. That is something good. We hire the people then to come up with ideas, with initiatives. We are addressing issues affecting whether the nation the community or the society. The politicians come with a better plan. Fool the people so the people them give them the work. Now where we end up? We end up with a lot of talk. People know balling. And saying, well, the peace program was this and the peace program. They need to exercise competence. They are incompetent people. I, uh, the goal score was offside. Now we see they can play the game. So people balling, saying, is Harris and is this? You can't blame people. You said to the people that you had the answers. And now we're going to listen to a radio host telling us about these people, these people who just come from outer space, these people who know, us, know nothing about these people, these people, we can see them, we can relate to these people, and so we cannot find any solution to address the issues affecting these people. Everything is cause and effect. So what is the problem? Is we children, all of them, is my children. I am them, those people are these people. I am not you people. You people live in illusion. In the same community, the same society, you live in illusion until your children and grandchildren bring you to reality. Who is these people? It is the problem. Everything you say, listening to you, is a part of the problem. The solution in this problem is for us to find out where we, the elders, went wrong. We are now inheriting what is a result. Wise man say, when you want to know the result are you pass? What you do? Look at your children. These are our children. Are you not and are your children them? And so are you could only think about kill them and lock them up. We have a social problem. Think it's small. We can address it. Not 
get up and these people, it is us. We are one people. Look in you, and you're going to find the solution. You think you two are now going on in the hood. It's we people, and we grew up with these people. We sleep with these people. We eat blood with these people. We are those people. Bless. All right, it's 21 after 2. And again, I don't know if some people don't listen. I don't know if some people can comprehend and they just have an agenda that they have to come with all the time and an angle that they have to come with all the time so that they can't have a cognitive conversation about an issue. And the same host that you say is now come telling people, we, we, rah, rah. I was very concise with what I said. And if you want me to repeat it for you, I can do so. Because my speech ain't come with no angle. I say again, if you want to cuddle them because it's your children, that is fine. What you think? that I, you, And you, you clearly said that I know what's going on in the hood. Of course. Because where you think I come from? On top of the hill? You think a barn bird rock or frigate bay? Or a tinley or some highfalutin place? No, it's who I come from, my lord. But I chose a different path. You think I don't have friends and brothers and people who died in all of this foolishness? Of course I did. You think I don't grieve and mourn? Of course I do. But what did I clearly say? We are choosing to cuddle them and they are clearly telling us and showing us that they have no regard for life. I come here every day and try to tell people how to resolve issues. How to think differently. How to feel differently. How to express yourself. I come from the hood, but I could talk just like any other body and, you know, and me. Um, I can do that. But I was taught to express myself in a manner that is becoming and befitting of a man. I was taught to resolve my issues and not resort to violence. Be it polite, physical, emotional, or mental. And that is what I've always sought to do. But if they are clearly showing us that they don't want to operate within the confines of our society, what do we do then? We celebrated Mother's Day every single year. Everybody knows when Mother's Day come, that is a solemn day for mothers. We all have one thing in common, if we don't have anything else at all in common in this life, is that all of us come from a mother. And there's a day set aside to celebrate that. And you mean to tell me that on Mother's Day, we knowing that every single human being on this planet comes from a mother, that a mother either love or don't love, but the fact of the matter is every single one of us come from a mother. And you're trying to tell me that one of we sons decided, made a conscious decision that on Mother's Day, they are going to murder somebody's son on that solemn day. What is you really call here to tell me? Yesterday, while the nation was in shock because an icon's life was snuffed out by gun violence again for whatever reason, while we were there making sense of all of that, what you want to tell me? Gangsters not have a phone. The broadcast them now reach to the phone. While we were going through that, and next one decided that to hell with St. Kitts and Nevis and how they feel right now. To hell with their grief. To hell with the son or the daughter that just lost the father. 
a grandfather. To hell with all of that. I am going to kill somebody over there for whatever reason. I don't care what is going on in the country. I don't care how the people in the ghetto are grieving. I am going to add to that grief. And kill somebody. What do we do with an individual who have that kind of mentality? That is the question. What are we to do with individuals who have that kind of mentality? How do we approach them? How do we deal with them? We have been loving them. We have been making provisions for them. We have been making excuses for them. And they clearly are showing that they don't care. They're clearly showing that they don't care. So what do we do? That is the ultimate question. Do we bring in the RSS? Remember the last time the RSS was here? How we scream and bawl, how they are rough for people, children. And nobody and they are rough for people, children. They got to understand our culture. So what it is we really want? What it is do we really, really, really want? The time for politicking, the time gonna come for that. But how do we address the situation right now? How do we get to the root cause? How do we prevent any more? That is the question. Again, the telephone lines are open. If you wish to call in, the lines are open. But clearly what we are doing, clearly what we are saying is not working. It's sickening. Could you imagine that even during when we were locked down for COVID, that people still found it necessary to shoot people? How you get to shoot somebody? It's premeditated. You had to have access to illegal firearms and illegal ammunition. Where are they coming from? Who brought them here? Where you get the gun from? I have long said, if you find somebody with an illegal firearm, the law is there. Just like how you went in Parliament to make it easy for the banking system to do this and the banking system to do that, and something come from CARICOM getting in line with international practice, go and make laws that would give these criminal hells when you catch them. Irrefutable evidence, we have it, no problem. I have seen people who had illegal guns and drugs get off on a technicality because a lawyer was able to go in the court and maneuver to get him off. And while that might sound good, while that might, might yeah, lawyer with a case, blah, blah, blah. He get off already and feel like he get off again. It happens in Jamaica. It happens in Trinidad. You get caught with a legal firearm? Okay, fine. Where well, you get it from? Because we don't make it here. So which mean you have to buy it from somebody. Well, who you buy it from? Straight off the bat you gain 25 years. No ifs, no buts, no, no maybe. No, 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 no time serving all them foolishness. You get in 25 years. If you want to spend less, tell me where you get the gun. Then we get the ammunition. You got to bear some customs charges because what? You import it yourself. If you can't tell me where you get it from, which means you import it. And if you import something illegal into this country, then that's a different charge. So you serve the 25 for that and then you serve another 25 for this. Unless you could give me where you got it from. 
And if who you tell me you get it from can tell me where they get it from, will they get the same charge like you? Because where you got a illegal firearm for is an intent, ain't it? So we have to sit down as a society, as a law-making body, and give these criminals hell, just like they're giving us hell. And with all that I'm saying, I know my friend's going to say, Ike, please be careful because they might come after you. Okay, fine. I have lived a long and illustrious life. And if it's going to take my death because of what I'm saying here, in order for the rest of society to take these criminals serious, then so let it be. Because if it didn't take the life of an icon yesterday morning to show us that we have to get serious with these people, maybe it may take minds. I got so many calls yesterday asking me to be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Well, if it takes another life, one such as mine's, in order to wake up this nation and wake up the lawmaking body to take these people serious and take them for what they are. And so be it. Call Aaron, go ahead, please. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It was not really my intention to call it, but you've been asking some questions. How oh, we don't manufacture guns and think it's everybody asking the same question. So the problem is not as difficult as we think, but people have to start being honest. Mm -hmm. You understand? People have to really start to be serious, take this thing seriously. This is not just gang violence. We are seeing the situation that happened yesterday. These are not all related to gang violence. We know before, I think it's a very peaceful country, politicians, all of them, I'm not talking past politics, no, all of them are responsible. When a politician wants to get into office, they use all kind of violence to prove that the country is unstable. And at the end of the day, people start to look otherwise. We have to wake up, huh? We have to wake up as citizens of things it's an evil and recognize that party politics doesn't work. All of us are all of us are affected at this point in time. Mothers are losing their children, children are losing their fathers, brothers are losing their sisters, families are losing their you know, their families, and it has to stop. The only way guns can come in here is to the port. We have customs officers, and just like you said, I'm not afraid to talk because they don't come after you. Well, they would have to come. We have custom officers who are paid or being paid. I'm not going to say allegedly either because they're facts. Some people have to be realistic. They're being paid. People are bringing in their stuff. They wait until a custom officer is there, and they're being paid. Start looking in those areas. Don't look at where when it reach in. Stop it from coming in. The police are looking at people who you assume, but start working at the areas of entrance. There are a lot of young women who are walking out there. They're doing the work. They're the ones. You, a, a young lady told me one time, and I was shocked. Three young ladies are coming from think it's coming from needless to think it. One has the magazine. One has this, this, the gun is in pieces. It's not easy to trace when it reaches the end point. It's easy to trace when it's coming at the point of entry. Start looking seriously at the custom officers. The police officers, they're part of it too. We are looking at the criminals out there. There are more criminals in there than what is out there. We have to be very real. If we are serious about fighting crime, start looking at the politicians. They're making rules and laws to stop what, and they know what they're doing. They initiate, they instigate, they're the ones who do these things in order. And criminals are here because people want power and greed. Parents are losing their children. They have mothers. And we know this. Home. You're going to tell me these criminals, they, they have homes to go home. They'll go home to the parents. You must know what your children are into. You go home to a girlfriend. You must know what your boyfriend is doing. We, If we are really serious about this thing, we have to start to look in the direction from where this thing stems from. Don't be afraid to call out anybody. We know it as a fact. Maybe I can answer certain things on your talk show. I have one and I can talk. <laughs> but we really have to seriously start looking at this. Everybody gets in a little pin and they're satisfied with it. 
We see how people of government get into office. They pay a few people and they get in. This is to stop. Crime is not going to be controlled if you have people at the top who is encouraging it. I can guarantee you, if we start to seriously look, we would see who are initiating these things and why. When you want somebody to look bad, you go to the end. You do whatever you have to do. You don't care. It has to stop, man. It has to. And the only people who can stop it is all of us. Stop looking to the police. They themselves are contaminated. They them themselves, they're part of it. And I'm not afraid to say it. Stop looking to the politicians. They started it. The custom officers, they're all, all of them. Money is a big problem in thinking. Everything now in thinking is about money. People are easily bought. Where that started from? Politics. You get into power because you got more money. You have to stop it, EK. And I'm not going to go out there and fight nobody's war. Because at the end of the day, people look at you. You're trying to help. And at the end of the day, people start looking at you. No. But we, if we are serious about fighting crime, really serious about fighting crime, let's just start in the areas. The people who are protected. A man, you said it. A man, you know he's guilty. But because he has a, a, a friend or because he campaigned in an election, he's out spot free. It has to stop. Let's start pointing our fingers where fingers should be pointed. All of them. Not one of them can say that they're different. All of them. Politics about money, greed, and it matters not. Corruption at its highest level is in the political offices. Have a great day, EK. If you're right. ready to fight crime, let's start going on to the bottom of it. All right. Thank you so much for your contribution. Let's take another call. Call Iran, go ahead. Hello, Iran. Yes, good afternoon, my boy. Hey, what's up, buddy, Iran? Yes, yes. I good, I good, my boy. And good afternoon to the listeners home and abroad. I understand you're asking for ideas, uh, I mean, solving the crime solution. Okay, well, I have been giving this suggestion over the years to several governments. Many, many months ago, Mr. Clark called in on the same station here and gave his support. And I will say it again. What I am suggesting that the PAP program is not a bad program. It just needs some refining. The, the peace program is not a bad program. It just wants some refining and some adjusting. My idea to it that I, have, I, have, I gave to Dr. Douglas when he was the Prime Minister, when he came up with those programs, I gave it to Dr. Timothy. I am now and done already suggested to Dr. Joe and his government. Here what we are going to do. We are going to form a watchdog committee. We are, you will watch over these people that I'm going to suggest and the whole program. The program is going to set out both program, peace program and PAP program. Every six months, you are going to have graduation, a, um, certificate ceremony. Those people on it come off. They go to work for other people or businesses or for themselves. And here we are going to set it up. We are going to set it up that teachers, when I say teachers, not teachers in the school, but people with skills, the know-how, like mechanic, carpentry, you, you know, all the skills that is needed now in the fast lane that we are moving in the technology world. We even want to bring in people with computer skills, um, you, you know, electronic, you know, engineering, everything. And you are going to teach these people for six months. During that six months of teaching, you're going to send them out on some job program to get training to work along with people before the graduation. When the graduation ceremony come up, you will give them the certificate, a good qualified certificate to show that they have attended these skill program and they have passed, you know, in flying colors. Meanwhile, you're going to have a watchdog committee that drop in randomly to see these people are showing up on these training while they are getting pay and they are doing what they're supposed to do and they graduate and come off. 
They either start their own business, go to work for people, and we bring on another set. That way, we will decrease the unemployment rate that we have. And we will, we will open up new businesses, new entrepreneurs to move things forward and move our country forward. And I think this program, this program and that way will help decrease the crime because people will have something to do. They will be owners of their own business. They will be working efficiently and effectively for people in the businesses and that sort of thing. That's my idea. And I hope somebody now will take it up and run with it and work with it. And don't let a foreigner from overseas come in to say the same thing and then pay them thousands of US dollars. Like with the monkey program. When I was giving the ideas all year with the monkey program, nobody studied Carl Brown. But they brought in a doctor from Cuba, did a study here, said the very same thing I've been saying on the talk shows them every day. When to Nevis, do the same thing I've been saying on the talk shows them in Nevis. Pay thousands of US dollars for the very same thing they were getting for free. Agani All right, buddy. Thank you so much for your contribution. Let's take this next one. 241, call Iran. Hi, good afternoon, Ike. Bless afternoon. Good day. Good day. Ike, I'm just saying this. I am to the family of those loved ones. I'm sharing my condolences. I'm going to say this. Bold. It takes a village to raise our children. Too many of our children are left behind in society because of negligence of, of some of the parents. Parents need to take responsibility of their children's behavior. When parents can go to a school and cuss a teacher and disrespect the teacher, where the child going to learn it from? There are too many killings in think it's now, and it needs to stop. It needs to find the core of the problem. Yesterday, two double murders just like that. Where are the father figures in these children's life? Where are the mothers in these children's life? It takes a village. I could not have passed my, my mother and father could I not speak to somebody? And I had to still say good afternoon. But the parents going to come and tell you, don't tell my child anything. It's my child. Everybody waiting for Dr. Drew to do everything. But it's a community. It takes a community. It takes a village to raise children, our children. A lot of people saying children are rude. Children are rude. Yeah. Children are rude, they're disrespectful, but there's a core of the problem what makes children behave like that. And it starts at home. Charity begins at home. We need to understand as parents, we need to buckle up on our children. Yes, they're going to be rude. Yes, they're going to be disrespectful. But they are coming up in age and their hormones are changing and it's a lot for them. But as parents, we have to stand with our children, and they need to stop going up the schools to beat the teachers. Because if I discipline a child and a parent comes to hit me, I ain't going to take it so, because when I'm done, I'm going to take my bag and I'll go. So I'm asking the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, love their children more. Take time to be with their children. We are losing too many of our young boys into guns. And can I say it's our young me women too. Ike, it's sad. And again, I share my condolences to all the families that lost loved ones yesterday. Because I have a son. I have a daughter. And I, want my, I don't want my children to be snapped away by gun violence. And where the guns coming from? Hmm, that's another. Years ago, seven years ago, when everything was open up, and money was paid for to do wrong things. Those are where the guns came across. Nobody was checking nothing. Call no name again. Nobody was checking the ports. The ports were open. Yes, come in, do this. And now this is the recompense of bad, bad governance within our government. Dr. Judem trying. Everybody saying, oh, Dr. Judem should do this. And shame on them. They don't do the Shame on what? Well, you don't get up and go down in Mac night and talk to the young men. Okay, I thank you. All right, thank Have you so much for your call. Day.
a bless to yourself. 2.45 is our time. We're taking your telephone calls. Call you on. Go ahead. Uh, A.K., good afternoon. Good afternoon to the general public. Good afternoon. I'm going to make a few short contributions. Mm -hmm. And I think I have the authority to, as a citizen of this federation, despite I'm a born Guyanese. I live here for the past 30 years. I served the police force for 24 years. We have an increase in crime in our federation. A caller before mentioned certain things, and I agree with him. We have a new wave of young criminals in this country, and we do not know much about them. The mother and the fathers know about these criminal activities that these young persons are involved with. I was involved in a community program, community outreach program, whereby we used to go about and go out and have conversation with these young persons who we, who we perceive to be persons a little out of order. Try to talk to them to the community um, um, policing program and try to get them on the street and our way. We have a program called Te Teens and Police. You bet you're between the gap between the teens and the police and open the eyes to a different scope of life. Now, the government cannot do certain things in the country. The police cannot be the miracle worker, and people expect the police to be a miracle worker. I will make a statement here. Whoever to offend is a matter for them. We had incidents happen last year, Juve. A, person's, a, a young person lost, lost their life. From that, there was a cry and an echo by the person's family member. Now, sometimes we see things that we do not see, see certain things, but when it hit, hit home, we quick to say, somebody will say, say some, certain things. To solve the crime in this country, with the help of everybody, including we, the citizens of this country. We know things, we see things, we're not saying things, but when the shit hit the fan now, we want, we want a quick fix. The government is only there to assist us financially and guide the way forward. To bring the advisors them, to put the police to do certain things, the police, the police could do what they could do. Bear in mind, the police still have their social life to live to, the normal life. Every time something happens in this country, the police will be the first person to feel the heat. The police then rest their seas. The police then have wife, they have children. Examination time. The police rest their seas right now. I know some people turn and say, we get paid for the job, but we still have a social life. So in, in, in order to curb this, this crime and this wave of crime will happen in this country, we have a set of young juveniles who committed some of these acts that we do not, we don't, do not know about. And the parents know about it. Some other persons know about these things, but they ain't say nothing. By the end of the day, they want a quick fix. That is my contribution. All right. Thank you, sir, for that. Let's go back to the telephone lines. Call you around. Go ahead. E.K., good afternoon. Good afternoon. E.K., Lord, where we come to go in east, west, north, or south. Oh, my gosh. I thought they had it with a four rope there that they're holding strong. Not in my rope, them electrical wire, them kind of wire. They just say, hold on to cable wire. But like you bust again and you gone. I'm so agree with the gentleman and the lady before and what's not. I see something on a video there. And then the person ramping around, oh, he's a juvenile name, Lord. Where, 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 where? When he come to come to juvenile, he just got, he got something already big, he big man, them the guy, you hear? That's why the police ask him, but if this person's a neighbor ramping around, oh, he don't leave him. He's a juvenile, I say, well, well. Well, leave him as a juvenile and so, so when you look, he, 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 he know about the big, the big pow, pow. Yes, there's a ledge come up there you know, last month. I mean, hear nothing about it only last month. The ledge, you know, shed one. Some of them pop up, pass through there. Nobody up to now. I mean, I try to hear. Say, if I listen, I would say, if I go hear anything about it. Cause when they come in on the boat, along with the other stuff, we are, we just see them. We said, this boat bringing, this is boat bringing up to now. I hear some. And it's another month going. I'm so sorry for how what happened to our country. Put us back in this dark, dark, from frightening time, and I just hope and wish that something could do about it. Because everybody on the edge who don't go out, who don't go out, Kyle could never tell. You maybe just allow me with somebody, and somebody just wander out a person. They don't, they forget. You ain't gonna put a run when you run. You gonna break your foot, and you gonna get shot too. And that will happen. Right, I like you. I, I listen you in turn. I was in turn. I listen you good and you're talking and you're playing your man with every country and going good. How we get back so? Eh? Whether for boyfriend, girlfriend, or whoever, we don't need to control the temper. If a woman, a man take your woman, go look another one. 
If a woman take your man, go look another one, don't really size up, so we're going to cook them in the evening. No, 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 no. That was long time days ago. And when you find the other one, sometimes you more, you enjoy it more than him, the one you had before. So where do you come from? We want all of that, man. We need a peaceful place. Me, you know, this festival, you got to get tight security, you know. And I'm so sorry about what I heard about how you did it. Instrument, what happened about the card thing, what happened the week? Week of four Friday and so again. Uh, nonsense, we can cause people to do them things. We never hear that day yet. The place up now was so long over there. Eh? And this government won't take them to sell them and talk about the, 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 the car radio. And so like, like, they, they, like they got any motion. Yeah, man. I wish they, they were just uh, got pin on them. They took it just now when who somebody else get it. Yeah, man, we need to come better than that. Things get loose. We need to get loose story. We will we, we feel this in the morning. I was awake, you know, EK. I was awake, you know. Right by this white thing and, uh, and down on the bypass. Yeah, what well, you know, getting your last nap, you know, after four, going to five, going to six, that's your last. Coming down, then you, you get up uh, fresh and nice, six, thirteen, so. I was awake. And when I heard it, I started to cry no, because of me. I mean, I had a guy not me yet that got hit me home. When I up knee with again Monday, any hot bad just soaking up my little old knees. I <laughs> want them to be strong. I hear this thing again. Like, it, it, what's going on? Uh, what was going on? We didn't need to stop that. They go and approach the people more better than that. we more sensible than that. What happened? Ignorance of... Uh, if I just come and throw a stone in my neighbor window, because a little gravel hit my, my, my side of my house. That ain't gonna make sense. I gotta go buy back the neighbor window, gonna cost more than me. Uh, but we, we decide, decide me that just want a little paint brushing up back and that's it. Yeah, man, we need to go come with I beg Mr. Joe, come out with some stiff turn up. Hit them, you know, with Mr. Joe. Hit them, guys, everybody on the edge right now when they're a big old. Baby, and I'm not sure if they could say what we're, no, we're going on there now. We're on the edge. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your call. Let's take one on the overseas line. Caller, are you there? Yeah, man. How are you, man? I'm doing good. What's on your mind today? Yeah, man. Um, we're, back, we're back where we started before, man. Um, I just want to applaud the I contributions. You know, I know you, you, you're working hard, man. You're, you're putting the issues on the table so people can discuss, you know, the rise in the crime that's happening in the Federation right now. You know, people got to applaud you too, man, because, you know, you've been you're doing a great job, man. Yeah, anyway, man, this is not a blaming game, you know what I mean? You know, we have to just get away from the blaming game and just try to figure out where we went wrong because nobody can't say that the society here in Sinkis and Nevis has not broken down. You know, the society has broken down. And we are at a critical stage where now we need to put in the work to build it back up and bring it back to where it's supposed to be. But it's not a blaming game, man, you know what I mean? But it's sorry to see what's going on in the Federation and, you know, it's the all hands on deck approach. The, like you say, um, you know, we, we, we got to condemn these people and we got we to push back on them. And it's only the community going to take back the, the community. And, you know, you got to push back on these people. You know, we, we, we can't be just sitting around blaming the government. And we can't be sitting around, you know, blame, pointing fingers at people. We all got to do our part, man. The police got to do their part. Whatever the government is responsible for, they got to do their part. The individuals in the community, they got to do their part. When they see something, say something. You know, people people are hiring gangsters in the house. You know what I mean? You know, but we got we got to flush this this situation out, man. This situation got to get taken care of, man. Because right, look at this, man. We right in front of music festival, bro. And if if we if we let Sinkis get this negative publicity, you know what what gonna become of the music festival, bro? You, you know, you guys already done pumped so much amount of money into music festival, and this is happening right in front of music festival. So we got to be careful. We, we, we're looking for tourism as our number one industry. And, you know, we're going to get hurt, bro. Our economy is going to get hurt. When these people in the international market blacklist us, then, then what's going to happen for, to our federation? 
You know what I mean? But some great contributions this afternoon, man, but all hands on deck. And this is a community approach, not just a governmental approach. But I wish you guys the best, man, and keep up the good works, bro. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Much. Have a good day, man. Have a great day, so. Let's take this next call. Call you around. Go ahead. E.K., good afternoon. Good afternoon. Everybody is calling and everybody getting emotional. You want to fix the problem? Deal with the problem. We're trying to save people who don't want to be saved. These are not little children who are committing crime. These are big people. Thank you. These are adults, not children. We have a parliament that, and you, you made the point this afternoon, I continue to say, we have a parliament that we could go and we could make laws and we could change laws and we could done away with laws. Get strict with the laws. Yep. Who are you trying to save? They don't want to be saved. These are big people who have a mind to think for themselves. They can think. You think they don't know what they're doing? They know what they're doing. All right. They know what they're doing. So why are you trying to save people who don't want to be saved? It's simple. You get caught with a gun, you deal with the penalty. You kill somebody, they get done away with the stupidness for amnesty. You kill somebody, your head ought to be cut off. We live in a society where we know who the criminals them be. The police know who they be. So when you want to harbor a criminal in your house, and then when he get knocked down, you want to cry and say, oh, somebody killed me, son. Well, you didn't know he was out there committing crime. It is high time now that we stop getting emotional and start dealing with the problem for what it is. You commit the crime, you do the time. We catch you, they throw the poor book at you, and we pray to God that when the book hit you, he busts your head. This problem in this country will never get fixed until we make a conscious decision that, hey, we fed up with this nonsense. May talk about come down Tongo March. May come in down Tongo March. The time has come for us to stop, talk the talk, and walk the walk. And whip people where it feel, where it hurts the most. Putting a curfew you ain't gonna stop this. We know who the criminals them be. Go get them, lock them up, get them off the street. You know how the guns them are coming? Fix the problem. My greatest fear, E.K., is that I might be the next person to get shot for no reason. And every person in this country that is a law-abiding citizen should be fearful for their own life. We want to sit down here and keep up this long conversation about, oh, we need to talk about this and we need to talk. What is there to talk about? There's nothing there to talk about. Somebody getting shot is nothing there to be talking about. Go find who committed the crime. We know who committed the crime. Go lock the backside up. Get them off the road. The fact that you're out here playing bad man, gang man, you're not fit to live amongst normal people who want to just live a normal, peaceful life. My fear, E.K., that I might get shot and I don't even know what the hell I get shot for. Hmm. That is my greatest fear. And it's not just fear for me, but it's fear for my children too. This is upsetting. It is a vexing situation. There is, again, there is no need for no long talk, no long conversation. We all know what needs to be done to fix this problem. A lady calling earlier talking about community to raise a child. Miss, them days done gone. Them days done gone. Me personally, your child started to act up in school. And the teacher tried to correct them, and they don't want to take the correcting. Time for that child to get out of the school. Because it simply means that they don't want to hear. And since you are in school and you want to be an adult, we're going to treat you like an adult. Maybe then you might understand. But this idea that we want to keep having this conversation, having this conversation, having this conversation, there's nothing there to talk about. You commit the crime, you deal with the time. Simple. It's time that we're done with this talk. Put the legislation in place and let this legislation work. Have a good afternoon, Ike. Have a good day yourself. 
And this is exactly what I've been trying to say. I don't know if I can say it properly, articulate it properly. We've been trying to reach out to these people and humanize them and appeal to their conscience. Then Hanon is a whole woman they killed the other day. You hear? They killed somebody on Mother's Day. They went into a crowded soup um, restaurant and killed somebody. And we out here still trying to appeal to their better nature. They're not okay. <laughs> we, we, uh, OJ. OJ. You side fit to take the life of OJ. You ain't taking into consideration the thousands of people who love OJ. And what that might do to the nation. You not care. So who's supposed to care about you now? Who's supposed to care about you? You choose this. So deal with it. You're terrorizing a whole country. We charge you for murder. We charge you for treason. We charge you for Ill illegal importation of an illegal um, substance or ammunition. Whatever it is, we charge you for that. So by the time we're done with you, you spend at least 100 years in jail. And if that ain't good enough, we hang you. We find out that you live with people who cover in for you. Well, we charge them as an accomplice. Mother, son, girlfriend, everybody. And that's the only how we're going to get this thing fixed in this country. Because we've been playing. We've been trying. And we don't want to talk too hard because, you know, we don't want to offend the gangsters. And the gangsters are offending us every chance they get. Every chance they get. Let's take another call. Call you on. Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah. You have to move away from your radio, my lord. Yeah. Okay. Let me move away from radio. I just want to make a short contribution, right? You notice, you know, you have to move away from your radio. Listen on your phone, not the radio. Yes. You say you have to go now. Yes, man. There it goes. Yeah. Well, we want to say why right? quickly that. Yeah. The, the, the criminal and raping havoc in this country. Mm -hmm. The government need to need to put down their foot. They need to put down their foot. And you just mentioned about hanging. Uh, but you can to be fair enough, remember we still are in England, eh? And if you go hang anybody, England on wet. England on wet. But they need to the, the, the government then England need to, need to yeah. come down here for them and carry them England. That is correct too. And let's do what they want That's up there with them. Good. But EK, let me tell you the truth, right? Then criminals. They just they just just going all they just going all about the place and just shooting people and just I mean music festival just around the corner. Not even music festival culture rama. All these things too. Not even that they need to get street medals up the port too. Because where this gun coming from? And the fella just right with this kind of thing with with community raise up a child. You can't talk to nobody child now what these days. You cannot speak to nobody child. Because the table them wet, all the trouble with children and kind of things for them things they done with really. the government need to come with some hardship measures. Because the criminal and they, they need to be beat up patrol there, eh? not only in the hot spot. What about the country So you're gonna just go in town and patrol all in town. But what about the country? What about all road? What about challenges? What about going to boys where farm and go down go down? They need to patrol. Not only in the hot spot, but come down, man. The people to the police, to the police walk in the community. But you not even the AK, the police, and the Batman, my friend, eh? Okay. You see that? This is the phone thing, yeah? Because, me could, got, me, me could be a police. I, just, example to prove a point. Me could be a police. And me could tell me gangster friend, but we got to go out and patrol, eh? Come out of the world. You okay? I thank you, you hear? All right. <laughs> and, and here's where we need to get strict with the police force. When you hear the stories that have come out over there, when you hear the stories that come from certain places, and this ain't just by EK bringing something, the EK break. We're talking about that. You can't equate you allowing illegal firearms and ammunition and drugs to come into a country to destroy with people to EK bring in a speaker and so you give him a break. You can't equate them two things there together. 
So to say, oh, you, you talk, if you got to get strict, then you're going to get a break on the speaker. Okay, fine, no problem. I got my money. But we need stiffer punishment for the people who got foul of laws. And more so for the people who are supposed to be upholding them. You got to get serious around here. Let's take a call on the overseas line. Caller, you there? Go ahead. Okay, good afternoon. Afternoon. My heart is heavy. When I said heavy, heavy. Oje, oje. I know him. Like I know myself. We grow up practically, even though I'm older. Why and my mother ravish together, settle together. It hit me like a, when I say it hit me like hard, it hit me hard. I just couldn't, I, I can't understand it. I've been falling on the authority, okay? The police, please get from behind your desk. Patrol the streets, you are getting paid. Do the investigation, even if it's your family member. We want answers. There are too many unsolved murders. And we are sitting down and acting like, oh, it's just another day. No. And to your man, until it hit your door, you're not going to understand because you're not feeling the pain of us who lost loved ones. Then you're going to understand what it is that we are talking about. It, it is real. I said it over and over again. The community needs to take back our community. Mark my people, you have neighbors. You know what is going on with your neighbors, neighbors, children. Open your mouth. Because who knows who next? Stop sitting down and turning a blind eye and say, you're not minding nobody's business because you know who go in everybody's house when the night time come. You know who daughter sleeping with who? You know who son sleeping with who wife and everything else. Come on now. How much more? How much more are we going to marry? How much more? He have children. He have a family. He have sisters. He have brothers. He have grandchildren. He have a business. That business may close down. Right? And then what? You're putting people out of bread. You stop to think about that? Huh? No, you ain't stop to think about that. Do you care? You don't care. I am asking the Prime Minister, I thought he would have said yesterday, my only disappointment in him yesterday, is to tell the police to get up off the lowers. Because they're playing, they're playing hopsy dopsy with this thing here. No, but we're not getting no answer. Everybody investigate until further. No, we don't hear nothing. We don't hear a thing else. It can, when was the last thing you hear somebody being arrested for murder? When was the last? And they're doing all the forensic that you could think about. If you don't, if you need help, please ask for help. Bring in people that could help you. The street does talk. You don't, they, they might know who it is, the people, and they would be. When the people are here doing the investigation, they ask questions. Do you, you know who, people know who are over here now? And they investigate until they get to the, the nitty gritty. We need to done, get this thing kick in the butt today. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, because we promise tomorrow, but today. It's enough, it's enough. How much more? Then when you're going to hit our doorsteps, and then we're gonna we're gonna scream from the top of the lungs. They are murderers. They are killers. And many of them are being paid handsomely for this this foolishness. By even and I'm gonna say by even political members. Because they've been saying now some of them say, oh, when when unity was in power, the, the, the peace was was the, the peace was on. There was no killing, huh? So you pay them for what? To keep quiet. You give them the lump sum of money. And then know what? We weep in the havoc. We weep in the havoc. 
because we're burying we love one for foolishness make no sense whatsoever how much more i have children i have brothers i have sisters we need answers and i'm calling on each and every citizen open your mouth because many it might hit your door and then when it hit your door you're going to look in for somebody to help you then when it goes beyond that we cannot control music festival no more um topics no more quick carnival no more all the fetter you like to go no more no night lime you are not off you you come out at six and you go in at six and you can't stand up on the road. No, me, me, you know coffee you business want? with them, you know. To, be, to hold a sausage? No, me, no, you know coffee business with them. They're going to go lock me up because not me. Eh? I ain't coming to no crime. Well, I's not a criminal. <laughs> oh. Ike, if this is the way we're going, you can't, you can't, you can't even stand up on the road to say hi to your brother or your sister or friend. It's going to be real. Let's see it for what it is. And when they bring in the RSS or any other person and they come in the community, stop bashing the people and let them do their job. When the police come to ask you a question and they hold up all the young men them and they put them across the prison, stop saying the policeman them or oh, they harassing the youth, they get a youth them. And I'm calling on the prime minister and the, 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 the head of the police force. All the names that you have in the gangster them that you pay them on this piece thing, round them up. Round them up. Round them up. I say stop pay them the money. Stop pay them the money until stop one of them could come up and, and say who do what and who do what. No give them all the money. And I love them up. You crazy. We still have pay them there. And shoot in a go on and nobody know who? And yes, shoot this to them, and nobody know who. But you only hear okay. the shoot in there, and you see the go. Oh, right. it's because the person was in. So, how do you know the person was in there? Okay. And it's retaliation from me. How do you know? Can I play with them? Somebody's going to message me for me. Because anyone that they message me for, I'm going to give to the authority that they're going to call them. Can I play with I'm, them? I'm sick of it. All I'm right. not playing with none of them. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'll take two more calls, and then we call it a wrap for today. Call your own, go ahead. Hi, good afternoon, EK. I'm sorry to call back, but I'm just going to say this for the last time. Um, you see these gunmen were going on, or gun violence going on. They're giving the small boys to do their stuff, and the big boys stay in the back. And our young, our small boys ain't realize that they're doing damage to themselves. EK, our children are being lost in society. And I'm just going to say this. I know you may not like me to say this, but St. Lucia is having the same gang violence problem. The prime minister called in the RSS to help solve the crime problem. And the people then behave so bad with the RSS is wondering if what is going on in little St. Lucia. But it's a particular area that they just gang against gang, drugs against drugs. Where are these drugs coming from? I think it's people need to wake up. We need to wake up. And the last I have to say, we are losing our young boys. Our young boys can be anything. We need to train our children that to, to, um, to know right from wrong and when they see wrong to come and tell us as parents. And don't let the drug lords influence them. The other day they had right here at the high school, marijuana cake. Marijuana cake. Somebody just come randomly, give them a cake. And it was marijuana. The girl nearly fly off the wall. She had to be rushed to the emergency room. They cannot get to they cannot get to the parents for what they're doing. They're giving normal. Like a friend. I have a friend and she come, um, teacher better come and taste this piece of cake. So we can't trust nobody around our children anymore. The caller said about the curfew, if that has to be done, Ike, it has to be done. Not me. The, the, I, Ike, you might be wrong, but Not that has me. To be done. Not we, me. These people do So what, what else these people are supposed to take from me? 
They take my sanity, they take my peace of mind, they take my friend. What else do you support? They want to take me, 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 me late night too? No. Well, well, how, how no, 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 Instead of coming up on Boardwalk Hill to see who I got up there in my car, go down in the ghetto we park that do the shooting. Go down there harass them there. Not me. No. Not <sighs> me. I hear I hear the pain in your We heart always coming with friend. these old time is foolish is both of you and and no. You can't hear the I hear it in your The voice, Prime Minister your admitted voice. yesterday the peace program still going on. They still get paid. How the hell you still a them and then I'll behave? It's because they're giving the small boys. They're collecting you must be the money crazy. giving the small boys. So who the leader of the gang then be? But they need to find out that. The leader of the gang is the big boys. And these okay, are the good. We'll find out who they be. Them. And find out who they connected to. Me must go take a coffee. Okay, I got bills to okay. pay. If I get a coffee, how I going to work? No. <sighs> It's sad, it's sad, no. it's sad. Something has to be done. Don't, don't even yes. suggest that again. Go off you, you must say, man. <laughs> I don't, you can't no. make no deal. No, you, you, you trigger me just now. <laughs> and you could take anything, but I'm just saying <laughs> to curve the violence. But here what? The, the, the last, the last, set, the last set of murders. COVID. The last set of murders. Guess where they take place? Sun hot, no hell. I know what you shoot people. I don't understand. The damn classroom so hot, I am burning up and demand to shut somebody in a hot. Them, they look like they care. Cough, uh, yo. We had okay. lockdowns. We had lockdowns between 2020 and 2021. And we had 10 or 11 shootings. Still. Prior okay, to that, we so, had 23 well, and 33. Now, it ain't cough, you. So the, the, the lockdown, the cough, you now stop them. They're going to still find the ways and means to do it. So therefore, if they're mm -hmm. convicted to whatever they're going to do, we have to be just as convicted as them. And I love what Dr. Drew said and yesterday. them out. They're going to pass in government, in the parliament, that they're going to get harsh um, laws that they, they go to jail for go a long time. Go in and make the laws them. Go in and do it. Mr. Attorney General, go in and do it. We want to hear yeah. nothing else about nothing else where you got going on there and no good government. No. Let me I go know. with some stricter laws. Ike, don't, don't chastise me now. Now, if they say they're going to um, legalize this marijuana thing and so, well, they're going to, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And this, it, it's a gang-related. You, you can't attack. correlate the two. Let me tell you something. Yes, Ike. When something is illegal, the, the value of it go up. And criminals going to exploit anything that they can get their hands on. Just like the peace program. They extort business people. They, they use the marijuana as part of their money-making scheme because what? It is illegal, which means it's hard to get. You could charge where you want charge for it and become rich off of it. When you decriminalize it, how come criminals don't sell liquor? Exactly. You make sense. <laughs> you understand? So it's not the two. When I go a ganja patch up in the hill, it's illegal. And if somebody got me ganja patch and teeth me ganja, I can't go to police station and say, look, somebody teeth me ganja patch. I got to get me revenge how I got to get me revenge, which is street justice. So don't he, correlate it to my family. Yeah. Please he and can't thanks. tell you the truth. I love to smell it. I don't <laughs> smoke it. Have a good day here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> have, have a good day. <laughs> but I don't smoke it. I love it. So when my neighbor's smoking it, I don't go outside and just inhale it. Oh, it smells good. You. <laughs> Thank you okay, so much. Bye. Have a good day. All right. So it's now 19 after 3. I'll take my final telephone call and then make the wrap for today. Call you around. Go ahead. Ike, I yes. have to call back in. Mm -hmm. Let me get something straight. RSS is not going to fix the problem in St. Kitts. Mm. Curfew is not going to fix the problem in St. Kitts. The only how this problem is going to get fixed in St. Kitts is you go and round up you, who you know. And it's not like we don't know. I studied Bella Call earlier. It's not like we don't know. We know. You round up who you need to round up and get them out the street. It is that simple. Because what you going to do? Bring RSS for six months. People keep the peace. And what happened when RSS is gone? What? We right back to square one? Mm -hmm. You have a call for what? What? 12 hours a day? And then what happened? 
you rightly pointed it out, all of these homicides that occurred in the past two days, broad daylight. So what are you going to do? Have a coffee from 6 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. And then when do people work? We know who the criminals them be. And what you said made absolute total sense. You harboring criminals, we charging you too. Since you don't want to come out and voluntarily say, Boy, my brother ought to commit crime, where we can lock up your brother, and if we find out that, hey, that are your brother, and that you know that your brother is a criminal, we're charging you as an accessory. Since you don't want to take responsibility, then we're going to take it from you and deal with it ourselves. It's one of those countries down south, what they did, build this massive prison, what they do, they start to round up all of them. Because what? Enough is enough. Did they wait for the public to act? No, they wait for the public to act. They went and they passed legislation and they put infrastructure in place. Because guess what? At some point in time, you got to grab the handle and deal with the situation. No more long talking. That is the problem with our in this country. I talk too much. And they talking people want. Ain't talking people want. We did not have to reach 16 homicides for us to get the message. One murder is one murder too much. And God knows how much murders we've had in years gone by. We ain't even reached half of the year yet. And we don't got 16. So what talk we need to talk? What conversation is there to be had? There is no need for the conversation. There is no need for the RSS. There is no need for the curfew. You put the legislation in place, they broke the law, throw the whole book at them. They got family members who know what go on, throw the book at them. What we gonna do? Wait until what? Two months down the road and we record another four to do something? Well, and then what? What we gonna do? Continue this long talk and talk and talk and talk and talk? Well, so I, talk, we wanna talk so. well I could tell you this much. This government, this parliament, got until the ending of June, early July, to show me a legislative agenda that is directly pointed towards curbing of crime. They got from now until July to show me that they see you about crime. I give them till July. Well, 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 EK, you and the Attorney General, good. You and the Prime Minister, good. They are listening. You, te you tell them. They are listening, I tell you. And if they not listen, somebody of them are listening and they're going to carry the message. Everybody going to get the message this afternoon. We did not need to reach 16 murders. And that's the bottom line. Yep. We did not need to reach the number. Because you know what? Everybody who balling now was balling last year and was balling the year before and was balling the year before. So what are we going to do? Continue ball every year? Continue sing the same old tune? Continue have the same conversation? That, that's what we're going to continue to do? Continue to have the same conversation over and over and over and over again and, and make no difference? Do nothing different. We called in RSS years ago and we still had murders. But the law not change. The law change? Did we create any stiffer penalties? Did we change the way the judicial system works to ensure that by there's no loophole for no lawyer to come and say, oh, this is a defense and that is a defense. By now you get catch with a gun. Jail. Straight up. Change the with laws. Hard labor. And not just jail, but jail with hard labor. Of and we not have on a parole. You sit on your backside in there. Since you don't think go out here, go in the thing. But the idea that we're going to be continuing this circle, having this conversation, having this conversation, having this conversation, we're like a broken tape recorder now. The 
time has come for us to stop talk the talk and walk the walk. Say what we mean and mean what we say. Definitely. Because guess what? We continue in the cycle. Next year we're going to be singing the same tune. And, mm. the, and then what? We just make a fool of ourselves. The time has come for us to grab the bull by the hand and deal with the situation. No task force, no RSS, no, 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 no doing a psychological evaluation going to fix that problem here. Yeah. You send the police out on the road, you get catch, you get charged, you go to jail. You kill a man, hang you. Nobody put them in a jail who go live off of people tax dollars because that's an insult. Because guess what? The tax dollars are going to be spent to feed them. Can't bring back dead people. And I know nobody's going to like to hear it. And no people ain't going to like to hear it because guess what? The people who you're going to be hanging, yeah, they're related to somebody, but they should have considered their actions before they carry it out. The time has come for us to stop having this conversation. We know what needs to be done. Just do it and let the chips fall where they may. Because by God, me know why my children that grow up without me. And me know how much you love your children. Of course. Me know you know why your children are going to grow up without you. And I could find a hundred parents right now who are listening, who feel the same way. So the time has come for us to stop having this conversation and just do what needs to be done. If the criminals them start to squeal, then so be the case. If the family of criminals start to squeal, then so be the case. But enough is enough. You shoot a man in broad daylight. Broad daylight. These are things for me used to watch on TV. I never thought in my wildest dreams that we can live in a country whereby you witness them kind of things here. Yeah? This morning when I, yesterday morning when I wake up and I hear OJ get shot and which part he got shot, it can be free to come out of my house. Free to. Free to come out of my house. And by if he tell if he tell me by it was some gang member, I might have said by okay, then you could you could see the correlation. But OJ of all people, a man who would probably take his last dollar out of his pocket to feed somebody. And yet we want to sit down and continue to have this conversation. There is money to have no conversation, EK. Put the law in place, let the law work. And let who want to scream, scream, who want bad, bad, who want to follow the law, follow the law. But at the end of the day, we need to done with this, this nonsense where we have in conversation. Do what needs to be done. Because guess what? If we don't act now, a month from now, we're going to get our next murder. And by the end of the year, we might surpass 20. Have a good afternoon, EK. Have a good day, sir. Clear cut conversations, clear cut solutions without the politicking. It can be done. And this afternoon was a testament to that. I say it again we have been trying our best with these people. Yeah, man, you may not like to hear me call them that, but that is what they are. Yes, they might be loving and caring to their family, but what about the rest of us? We live in this country too. What about the business that you are affecting? If we can't do business here, where the hell the peace money gonna come from? If we get if we get called the murder capital of the world and tourists can't come here, and nobody want to buy into our CBI, and nobody want to come to our music festival and our other function, where the hell your peace money gonna come from? Where the money or the extortion money that you normally get from business is going to come from. You're then going to turn your attention on people who are not your friend and family. And that is the rest of us. So if those of you who know that you're not into anything, but you know of your other gang people who are into, you have an obligation 
Because you said you wanted peace. You have an obligation to either get them to stop or to pass them on to the necessary authorities. Whether you want to call it ratting or whatever the hell it is, that is just crap. All of these gangsters rat on one another because right now, as far as they're concerned, it's friend killing friend. And how do they know that somebody's standing up on the corner to go and find them? Because somebody tell them that they're there. So this foolishness about ratting out to the police and all this kind of foolishness, all I don't do it. The whole nature, the whole survival of gang culture is ratting. You hear? When you hear of a gang member getting caught and he get let go on the street, it's the information he give up. So this foolishness about ratting out to the police and ratting and ratting is garbage. If you want your way of life to continue by continuing to get in we taxpayers money, every last one of you on the peace program have an obligation to either step in and quell this foolishness that's going on right now or pass on the information to the relevant authorities and let them deal with whoever striking up this war on we streets right now. Plain and simple. They are affecting your money because what if every citizen decide that, hello, we don't want the government to be no more paying for a peace program. Since we can't get peace, we don't want it. And if we government don't want to listen to us, well, then we march on them and we get them out of government and bring a government that can do it for us. This is where it's going to come now. So the onus is now on every last one of you. Every last one of you. You know, look good. In a sown good and in a feel good. And it's for all your own selfish thing. Oh, somebody not like me. Oh, somebody said this. Oh, somebody do my brother this. Some, and, and this whole foolishness continues. It is affecting our country. It is affecting our mental health. And we have got to get serious. The cuddling, the loving, the making excuses, the time for that is done. Yesterday, the politicking was in high swing. I'm not sure how many of Dr. Drew's people showed him what was being said on social media. But it was nothing good. And if the legislative agenda going forward, based on what the Prime Minister said yesterday, that stiffer penalties will now be on the revision table, to up it from 15 to 25. And we just saw a case there where this guy got, what, five years? For illegal firearms. And so, so how come he ain't get the, the full 15? It's the same thing happening in Jamaica. The penalty for having an illegal firearm and ammunition is 10 plus years. And a magistrate gave a guy three so we now have to now look at our judicial system and the process. Our lawmaking body. Charge these people as terrorists because they're terrorizing our country and our community. Implicate the people who are covering them. It could be their mother. If the mother is receiving compensation from the proceeds of illicit and illegal activities she got to go jail too if the girlfriend driving a vehicle that was bought with illegal money she got to go jail too We are not going to lose our country over a few people who want to live outside of the law while the rest of us have to live within the confines of the law. And this talk about curfew, not me. I will take a lock up because not me. I mean, doing the curfew with nobody. Why is it every time we in the majority have to always suffer and small up myself for a few people in society who do not want to live like human beings.
Why? You have grown people with serious obligations afraid to leave their homes because you don't know who next. You don't know who have illegal firearms. And you don't know when they're going to decide to shoot you because you might look at them funny. Or you might trouble one of them girlfriend. You don't know. And in the meantime, these same people are getting our taxpayers' money. Man, you got to be kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for issues today. You guys have yourself a great day what's left of it. I'll see you on the other side for some Island Rhythms. Shipping your cargo shouldn't be a hassle. It can be as easy as a single call to Amerijet International. Your worldwide